Thanks for joining me here at Crossing the Line. I'm your host, Isaac King. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Now let's get into it. Elon Musk has dished the dirt, shown everyone the receipts on the Hunter Biden laptop and the censorship at Twitter. Now, taking over. Let's get into it. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are looking forward to finding out about the dirt and shit that happened at Twitter. Elon Musk tweeted out six hours ago now, what really happened with the Hunter Biden laptop story suspension by Twitter will be published on Twitter at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'd, uh, then four hours later, we're double checking some facts and probably won't start live tweeting about it in, in about 40 minutes. Now he's a little late running behind there, but uh, something uh, he's tweeted that out so that got everyone all rolled up. Then we follow along. We're here with Matt Taibbi. Uh, find him here. Here we go. Now, Matt Taibbi, author of Griftopia, The Divide, The Business Secrets of the Drug Dealing and Hate Incorporated. He is a very good journalist. Uh, he's been on Joe Rogan podcast quite a, uh, quite a few times, I believe. He has tweeted out all the dirt and done the story on it here. So um, go down and find the whole tweet. Blah 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 blah. So right, here's a here's a thread from Matt Toby. Thread Twitter files. What are you uh, on about to read? Uh, what are you about to read is the first installment of the series based upon a thousand internal documents obtained by sources at Twitter. The Twitter files tell an incredible story of the one inside of the world's largest most influential social media platforms that is a frankensteinian tale of human built mechanism grown out to control uh, grown out of the control of its designer twitter in its conception was a brilliant tool for enabling instant mass communication making it true real-time global conversation between conversation possible for the first time in an early conception of twitter the most lived in its mission statement giving people the power to create and share ideas and information instantaneously without barriers as time progressed however the company was slowly forced to add those barriers some of the first tools of controlling speech were designed to combat the likes of spam financial fraudsters slowly after time twitter staff Executives began to find more and more uses to these tools. Outsiders began positioning the company to manipulate speech as well. First a little, then more often, then constantly. By 2020, requests to connect to the actors to, uh, connected actors to delete tweets were routine. One executive would write to another, more to review from the Biden team. The reply would come back handled. You can see here, if you go through, you can go on uh, Matt Taibbi's um, Twitter feed there and follow him uh, have a look in depth at this now uh this is all brand new it's only happened a couple of hours ago um so we're still unpacking everything but it guarantees it's just proven that the biden administration not just the biden administration as well trump's administration have asked to ban and censor pol uh, people on twitter now, you can see this one here. I don't know if you can read that. Um, Real James Woods. So, James Woods and then just random people as well. So, they're asking you to take, asking Twitter to take down, ban and suppress, you know, certain things, especially the Biden laptop. We knew this was the case. We knew this was, this was it for years. We've been screaming it at the top of our fucking lungs. It's been happening. But finally, we've got fucking receipts. Elon's dished the dirt. Uh, another one here. Both parties had access to these tools. For instance, 2020 requests from both the Trump White House and the Biden campaign were received and honored. However, the system wasn't balanced. It was based on contacts because Twitter was an overwhelmingly staffed by people with one political orientation. There were more channels and ways to complain open to the left, well, the Democrats, than the right. You can just see the amount of money that the Democrats spent in Twitter. Uh, the resulting slant of the content moderation decisions were vi uh, visible in the documents you're about to read. However, it is also the assessment of multiple current and former high-level executives. Okay, there was more than one throat clearing about the process, but screw it, let's jump forward. The Twitter files, part one, how and why Twitter blocked Hunter Biden laptop story. 
On October 14th, 2020, the New York Post published Biden's secret emails and expose a based on the content of Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop. Twitter took the extraordinary step to suppress the story, removing links and posting warnings that it may be unsafe. They even blocked the transmission via direct email, uh, via direct message, a tool hith throw reserved for extreme cases, example, example, CP, child, you know the word. While uh, White House spokeswoman Kayleigh McKinney was locked out of her account for tweeting about the story, pr prompting a furious letter from Trump campaign staffer Mike Hahn, who seethe and at least pretend to care for the next 20 days. You see that uh, email here. Kayleigh McKinney has been locked out of her account by simply asked, uh, talking about the New York Post story. All she did was cite the story and first-hand reporting has been reported to her by other outlets Do not uh, and not disputed by the Biden campaign. I need an answer immediately on when and how she will be unlocked. I don't appreciate how nobody on this team called me regarding the news that you'll be censoring news articles. Like I said, at least pretend to care for the next 20 days. Fucking amazing. Someone's going to prison for this and I'm going to put money on it being Vijaya Garde. That's why she was bawling her eyes out when Elon took over Twitter. She's walking away with like $30 million fucking severance or some shit like that. She had nothing to worry about. She had nothing to fucking cry about. She is going to prison if anyone's going to prison. Now, this kind of shows too that Jack Dorsey, when he was in charge of Twitter or, you know, being a figurehead of Twitter at least, he had no idea most of this shit was going on. Uh, which I find a little hard to believe. I think he just played the deny everything kind of fucking thing. Uh, pretended he didn't know what was going on. Uh, another one here from Matt Taibbi. This led the public policy ex executive Car uh, Caroline Strom to send out a polite what the fuck query. Several employees noted that there was tension between the comms policy team who had little or less control over the moderation and the safety te uh, safety trust teams. Storm's note returned to the answer that the laptop story had been removed for violation of the company's hacked materials policy. See, they know it wasn't fucking hacked, it was handed in. Although several sources recalled the hearing about a general warning from the federal law enforcement in the summer was about possible foreign attacks, there is no evidence that I've seen of any government involvement in the laptop story. In fact, that might have been the problem. Thank you. This is fucking damning. The Biden's have got that much power and that much control over the media and the, uh, social media as well, that they pretty much won the election with suppressing this. If this had come out when it was supposed to have come out, if this had just done it naturally like it was going to, we probably wouldn't have Biden in the White House right now. The decision that was made for the highest levels of the company, but without the knowledge of CEO Jack Dorsey, the former head of legal policy and trust Vijaya Garde playing a key role. She is going to prison. They had just freelanced it, but now one former employee, employee characterized the decision. But within a few hours, pretty much everyone realized that it wasn't going to hold, but no one had the guts to reverse it. There we go. So they tried to say uh, they had to suppress it due to it was hacked material which they just made up that lie um made up that rule they knew that wasn't going to work but they just ignored it and carried on anyway they couldn't cover it up you once it's a big pile of shit like this you can't you can't tell people it doesn't stink people know it stinks you can see the confusion the following lengthy exchange which ends up uh including garde uh Vijay Garde is a former trust and safety chief youth, Yul Roth. Comms officer Trenton Kennedy writes, I'm struggling to understand the policy basis for making this as um, masking this as unsafe. You can go in and read. Uh, if you're interested, go into Matt Taibbi's thing, uh, read through the entire thread. I still haven't done that yet. I'm just watched it pop out, uh, pop up live and I'm breaking it down a little bit at a time now. But we'll see. We'll, uh, let, uh, we'll let the smoke clear after today uh, and see what happens with this. Someone's going to prison. Someone is, uh, there's going to have to be at least a congressional hearing, at least. By well, this point, everyone knew that this was fucked, said one former employee, but the responses were essentially to uh, err on the side of continuing to err. <laughs> they were fucked from the get go. Former VP of the Global Comms, Brandon Borman, asks, can we truthfully claim that this is part of the policy to which former Deputy 
general counsel Jim Barker, uh, a baker, again seems to advise saying that they're non-course because caution, uh, caution is warranted. So they knew that they weren't legally allowed to do this and they did it anyway. They knew that this was breaking uh, American constitutional law and they did it anyway. A fundamental problem with tech companies and content moderation, many people in charge of speech know or care little about speech and have to be told the basics by outsiders. In one humorous exchange on day one, Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna, uh, Khanna reaches out to Garde to gently suggest that she hop on the phone to talk about the backlash of her speech. Khanna was the only Democratic official I could find in the files who expressed concern. Yeah, because we know what Democrats want. They want to censor any, anything that would damage their, damage their reputation or damage their chance of getting into power which is what they did. This is election meddling at its finest. This is going to, this is going to re-elect Trump. This is going to sink the Biden administration if it hasn't already, uh, if they haven't done it to themselves already. Uh, Gatto replies quickly, immediately diving into the weeds of the Twitter policy, unaware Kenner is more worried about the Bill of Rights. Yeah, uh, Kenner tries to reroute the conversation to the First Amendment, uh, mention of which is generally hard to find in these files. Uh, you go if you, we're gonna have to leave it a couple of days to get more uh, more information out on this. But um, yeah, this dropping today has been a fucking huge kick in the pants to censorship and the left's war on anyone who doesn't agree with them. So people, this might be the end of it. The people censoring as people are. Uh, stopping us from talking and shit like that that might be this might start to i don't know push back against it. it we might be starting to win this fucking war on truth really because that's what it is is they just don't like the facts they don't like f things that are like uh you know fucking inherent facts you could wave it f wave it in front of their face and they would just say that it's bullshit and it's misinformation and you're lying or whatever. You, but when you bring them receipts like this, when you bring them proof like this, when you air it all out, put it in the daylight and burn off all this bullshit and lies that we've been dealing with the last couple of years, it's plain as day to see. We all knew this was the case. It's not news to any of us. But it's fucking fantastic to see it in writing, get the receipts on it, get all the information out there to let the people know that aren't aware of it uh, or just, you know, they can't deny it anymore. They can't deny that um, Biden administration, even the Trump administration, the American government has been colluding with big tech to censor people's freedom of speech, freedom of thought. Now, all this shit that happened in the US, right? This is American news. This is for Americans. This breaks American law. But I would really like to know, I'd love to know what the Australian and even the New Zealand government has gone to Twitter, Facebook, and things like that, gone to them about and asked them to censor. I want to know what our government has gone to uh, Twitter and told them to shut down. Because I guarantee you, if they've, if they've, the American government's bending their, you know, fucking doing it and Twitter's bending to their will, they'd be doing it to the Australian government, uh, for the Australian government as well. So, you know, what kind of people have been muted and blocked and banned and censored all over the, all over every social media from Google to YouTube to Twitter to, you know, things like that. It's, it's going to be interesting to find out. I'd love to see what Australian politicians have asked for us to be censored. Because I guarantee you, there's going to be a laundry list of people doing it. And uh, probably not on such a grand scale as like the Hunter Biden laptop. But I guarantee you, whether it's over uh, any of the, um, you know, last, the, the sickness going around for the last couple of years or the protests that we've had over here, any of the... Uh, protests that have been people you've seen people getting dragged out of the homes for promoting going to or even just saying that they're going to you people getting dragged out of their homes over it by police and 
Victor- mainly the Victorian police, New South Wales police, up here in Queensland, uh, cooler minds prevailed a little bit. We still obviously had all the lockdowns and that crap, the masking and the mandates and the, you, know, you name it. We had all the same shit, but just not as bad. I'd like to know what our government has asked them to censor because I'd like to know what we missed out on, what truth has been hidden because they didn't like like it being in the light of day. And I guarantee you there's going to be some heads rolling in the Australian Parliament over this. Uh, well, actually, nothing will happen to them, but uh, at least we'll know, at least we'll have proof. And um, it's going to be interesting to see. It's, I mean, if it's this bad in the US and they actually have a Bill of Rights and they actually have freedom of speech, unlike us here, we don't have any of that. People in Europe, can you imagine what the UN's asked them to do? I mean, if Biden's asking him, you can imagine what the UN and the English government and at least the Australian, can you imagine what Jacinda Ardern has been asking them to censor and shut down? Well, it's going to be fun to see. Is, is, this is just the start. Matt Taibbi, Elon Musk, you guys are going to have uh, crosshairs on you now. I mean, they're going to be after you like fucking no tomorrow. Uh, there was a meme getting around just the start of this. Before I think it was before the tweets even dropped, uh, the Twitter thread here had even dropped, that uh, Elon Musk was going to drop all the goss and drop all the info, but he's just got to figure out what all these red dots are that are following him around. <laughs> I mean, I tweeted that the, <laughs> he'd be looking up in the sky going, why is that drone following me? So Obama was probably after him. Hillary Clinton's probably chasing him down. Uh, who knows? I oh, fucking hope he doesn't get Epstein. Is this is news? This is this is breaking the internet today. This is massive news. This is probably going to get Trump re-elected. Uh, maybe depends how much Trump had to do with the same kind of shit because um, apparently his campaign did ask for shit to get taken down as well. It'll be interesting to see over the next couple of days and weeks what that shit was that he asked to get taken down. Uh, you know, it could just be. Stuff like uh, the leftist media going and ousting where he is and all, uh, where his family's at and shit like that, like doxing them online. Hopefully it's something like that, but I doubt it. Um, let's see this where this goes. This is massive news and it's going to be dominating the headlines for the next couple of days, if not weeks. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the shit they censored comes out, what it is. And I'd love to see what the Australian government's asked to get censored as well so let me know what you guys think don't uh don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel please chasing some more subscribers and uh leave a comment down below if, if there's anything you want to know or if there's anything you'd like to see come out in this let me know down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video